The country's large debt has Senator John McCain and Congressman Jeff Flake pushing for the buy down your debt bill. It would give taxpayers the ability to give up 10% of their tax liability towards debt reduction. Live at our Washington bureau, we have Nathan O'Neill with details. Nathan, some say this bill will actually be a waste of time. Emily, this bill has come up multiple times since the early 90s, but has never really gained any traction. Representative Jeff Flake says that the debt crisis has gotten way out of control, and this just might be a solution. Congress kind of governs by uh, crisis, and uh, unless we're right up at that, that cliff, we seem to put it off and kick the can down the road. Uh, I think we're nearing that cliff now. Representative Jeff Flake and Senator John McCain reintroduced a bill that would give the power to pay off the national deficit directly to taxpayers, simply by checking off a box on their tax forms to contribute up to 10% of their adjusted income taxes. Congress would have to use that money to pay down the debt and nothing else. We've not had any major tax reform uh, in over, what, 25 years, so it's, it's tough. Um, but uh, this is something that uh, I think taxpayers can get excited about because it puts them in charge. While some embrace that idea. And if someone approached me and said, can you put a little extra aside, then I'm, I'm all for that. Others aren't as convinced. Then what? I mean, we check a 10% box and then who's still going to control the spending? As for Flake, he says this debt buyout wouldn't be necessary if Congress could deal with a national deficit quickly. If we can get a majority and make those cuts ourselves and start paying down the debt, hey, I'm, I'd be glad to put this bill to rest and to say we don't need to go there, but uh, I just don't see that time coming anytime soon. Flake says so far there are no Democrats signed on to back the bill, but he's hoping to get bipartisan, bipartisan support. Live in Washington, D.C., Nathan O'Neill, Cronkite News.